paralyzed bulldog crammed in a tiny crate receives new lease on life. Humans and dogs have a connection that really is hard to describe in words sometimes. There have been countless examples of dogs protecting humans without a thought for their own safety and vice versa. There's just some bond that can't be explained between the two of us. So when you see people mistreat their dogs, it can really stir up some strong emotions. We've done enough stories on animal abuse here to know they're going to tug at our heartstrings, but this one goes up with the all-time worst. This poor bulldog was the subject to incredible mistreatment. Luckily, she's been given a second chance at a happy life thanks to the hard-working people at the animal shelter she was dropped off in front of. This poor little girl's name is Sarah. Sarah was stuffed into a travel crate that was entirely too small for her and dropped off outside the almost no-home no-kill shelter in Michigan. She sat in this cramped crate for 12 hours until finally Carissa Perrin, who's the assistant manager at the shelter, found her. Sarah was crying in pain when she was found and for good reason. The crate on the right is the proper one for a dog of Sarah's size. The one on the left is what she was shoved into. It's clearly entirely too small. They got the crate open and were appalled by what they discover. The poor pup had absolutely no room to move and her injuries were severe. She was paralyzed from the waist down. If these people hadn't found her, she would have been a goner for sure. A veterinarian determined she had a herniated disc which they believe was caused by absolutely savage beating or being stuffed into her crate. The staff at the no-kill shelter went back and watched the surveillance footage and were sickened to see that Sarah had been left in that crate for 12 hours. As if that wasn't enough, Sarah also lost the ability to use her bladder. So the workers at the shelter have to manually work it for her because she's too terrified of catheters. Sarah's receiving the medical attention she deserves now. Along with the medication and treatment for the inflammation of her spine, she's receiving all the love she can handle from her caregivers. Even through all this, she's still so sweet to them. She showers them with kisses and cuddles all day long. How could someone ever do anything to hurt that sweet little face? You can see the pain and sadness of her past in her beautiful eyes. The police are currently looking for the disgusting monsters that did this to the sweet girl. Unfortunately, cases like this are rarely solved. Sarah isn't out of the woods yet, too. She still has a long road to recovery, but that started recently when she was given surgery to her back. They hope that she'll be able to walk again someday. We'll be rooting for Sarah and hopefully the people responsible for this horrific crime are found and punished as harshly as possible.